Hello friends, welcome back to the session. Today we will be discussing about variable frequency control of an induction motor. As we know, the motor speed can be controlled by varying the supply frequency. And also, we noted in the previous sessions that induced voltage in the stator, that is V, is proportional to the uh, frequency, supply frequency and the product of supply frequency and air gap flux <clears throat> if the stator drop is neglected then terminal voltage can be considered proportional to the product of frequency and the flux now with this case if there is a reduction in in the frequency f without changing the terminal voltage causes the increase in air gap flux. Induction motors are designed to operate at a knee voltage of the magnetization characteristic to make use of uh, magnetic material at its, at its fullest. Therefore, if the flux increases, it will saturate the motor. And uh, that will affect uh, as increase in the magnetizing current which will distort the line current and the voltage also increases the core loss and the stator copper loss and produces a noise a high pitch noise we should also note that the an increase in flux beyond some rated value is uh, affecting uh, in terms of saturation of the motor also a decrease in flux also avoided to retain uh, to retain the torque capability of the motor therefore the variable frequency control below the rated frequency is generally carried out at rated air gap flux and by by consequently varying the terminal voltage with frequency which will be maintaining v by f ratio This should be maintained at a constant at rated value previously we noted the equation for t max i hope you remember t max was equated to 3 divided by 2 omega ms multiplied by v square all divided by rs plus or minus under the square root rs square plus xs plus xr dash it's a square modifying this equation t max i'll write it as k v by f it's a square divided by rs by f plus or minus rs by f it's a square plus 4 pi square ls plus lr dash it's a square and this whole term is under the square root here the term k is a constant ls and lr dash are the stator this one and the stator referred rotor inductances here in the equation the positive sign is for motoring operation and negative sign is for braking operation considering one uh, case say at uh, not very low frequencies rs by f will be smaller than 2 pi 
एल एस प्लस एल आर डैश एंड द इक्वेशन टी मैक्स विल बी रिटर्न एज बाय सब्सिट्यूटिंग दिस विल बी गेटिंग एज प्लस और माइनस के वी बाय एफ इट्स स्क्वेर डिवाइडेड बाय टू पाई एल एस प्लस एल आर डैश आई विल कॉल दिस इक्वेशन एज इक्वेशन वन एंड दिस वन एज टू नाउ वेन वी गो थ्रू इक्वेशन टू इट सजेस्ट दैट इफ द वी बाय एफ रेशियो इज कॉन्स्टंट देन मोटर डेवलप्स अ कॉन्स्टंट मैक्सिमम टॉर्क एक्सेप्टिंग द लो स्पीड्स और द लो फ्रिक्वेंसीज देर फोर मोटर ऑपरेट्स इन कॉन्स्टंट टॉर्क मोड सिमिलरली वेन वी एग्जाम इन इक्वेशन नंबर वन सॉरी वेन वी एग्जाम इन इक्वेशन नंबर वन सॉरी वेन वी एग्जाम इन इक्वेशन नंबर वन फॉर लो फ्रिक्वेंसीज due to stator resistance drop that is when rs by f is not negligible compared to 2 pi ls plus lr dash that time the maximum torque will have lower value in motoring operation and larger value in braking operation this behavior means this reduction in value behavior is due to reduction in flux during the motoring operation and during braking operation the flux will be increasing but it is required that the same maximum torque is maintained at low speeds also during the motoring operation so the ratio v by f is increased at low frequencies but again this further uh, causes increase in maximum braking torque and uh, uh, saturation of the machine in the braking operation next uh, we will be seeing the relation of v and f variation in terminal voltage with frequency we will call it as figure a frequency f and this is v we will mark the base frequency here v is kept constant above the base frequency below the base speed v by f ratio is maintained constant except at low frequencies so i'll draw like this when v by f ratio is increased to keep maximum torque at a constant value now this is the v and f relation the corresponding speed torque curves will be drawing both for uh, motoring as well as braking operation is uh, talk say this is omega ms 
the synchronous speed before that just note down as minus t max and the positive t max and the characteristic will be like this and when f is increased above the synchronous speed the torque value goes on reducing and finally we get this when we observe this speed torque characteristic we can say that the speed control and braking operation are available from nearly zero speed to above the synchronous speed we can note some features of variable frequency control uh, out of that first one is we can control the speed and braking operation from zero speed to above the base speed second one we can say that during the transients that is during the starting braking or during the speed reversal the operation can be carried out at maximum torque next one we can we can say that copper losses are low hence efficiency and power factor are high as the operation is restricted between the synchro speed and maximum torque point at entire frequencies finally the drop in speed from no load to full load is very small